My dear friends, welcome to Rajashekar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 190. In this lecture, I will continue my discussion on multiple regression. In this lecture, we will try to understand adjusted multiple coefficient of determination that is adjusted R squared value. In my previous lecture, we already discussed this particular relation. What is my SST? Your SST equal to SSR plus SSE. Isn't it? How will I get this SSR? SSR equal to SST minus SSE. What happens if I add independent variable? What we observed? This SSE value is decreased. After adding independent variable, number of deliveries, if you observe, SSE value is decreased. What does it mean? If it SSE is decreased, means SSR will increase. Isn't it? Therefore, what is my R square value, R square formula? SSR by SST. As SSR is increasing by introducing new independent variable, your R square value will also increase. What's happening? Instead of using R square, we are going for adjusted R square. Adjusted R square or adjusted multiple coefficient of determination is is useful uh, what is the purpose is you is used to determine whether the added new independent variable is really is really an explaining variable or noise variable what is the purpose of adjusted r squared adjusted r squared or i can say adjusted multiple coefficient of determination multiple coefficient of determination uh, if i add a new variable new independent variable let me say if i add new independent variable this adjusted independent variable this adjusted r square is useful to check whether this added new independent variable is explaining variable is explaining variable or noise variable isn't it that's a purpose noise variable anyway we will try to understand with the uh, appropriate illustrations how uh, how this works uh, time being just let me explain how one can calculate adjusted r square value adjusted multiple coefficient of determination n is number of observations P is number of independent variables. How can I calculate uh, this uh, adjusted multiple coefficient of determination? This is formula 1 minus 1 minus r square. In my previous lecture, we already calculated r square value. n is number of, num what is my n? n is number of observations. In that, in that particular problem, we had 10 observations minus 1 p is independent variables x1 and number of deliveries there are two independent variables this is your adjusted r square value that is 0 0.88 even if, if you want you can check just just see this one this is 0 0.876 means it's almost 0 0.88 isn't it that that is our adjusted r square uh, let me say what will happen whenever yes what will happen whenever we introduce a new variable the value of r square will increase adjusted r square will also increase we will try to understand with simple example what is the meaning of r squared and adjusted r square let me say my y my y is dependent variable let me assume this y is dependent variable and x1 x2 x3 x4 let me assume these are independent independent variables 
isn't it independent variables now what i am going to do first what will what i will do i will take and write regression equation with x1 and y if i write regression equation with x1 and y what will i get let me say my r square value r square value and adjusted r square value there are two things this one r square is increased and adjusted r square is also increased let me say i introduced one more independent variable x2 again i checked again r square increased adjusted r square is also increased so what will happen if x2 is really helping uh, to explain the variability of y adjusted r square and r square will increase let me say i am including one more variable that is x3 let me assume let me assume let me assume this one is noise variable this x3 is noise variable what does it mean let me assume x3 is noise variable noise variable means what it will not helps us to explain the variability of y it is going to disturb the existing relationship so what will happen r square will increase if you keep on adding your independent variables your r square will increase but in the case of adjust r, adjusted r square it will decrease this is the hint this is a hint for us that the variable which you added is not helping to explain the model instead of instead of that it is deteriorating it, it is disturbing the existing model it is disturbing the existing relationship so x3 should not be added that is the meaning of adjusted r squared value most of the time if the value of r squared and adjusted r squared is similar that means no need no need to include no need to include any further variable into the model that means you have reached the good model if there is a gap for example gap in the sense for example your r squared value your r squared is let me assume if r squared is 0.9 let me assume this 0.9 isn't it and your adjusted r square your adjusted r squared is 0.3 this one is 0.9 r squared value is 0.9 and adjusted r square is 0.3 what does it mean means there is a possibility of adding there is a gap isn't it means there is a possibility of adding more independent variables to the model yes this is the basic idea uh, just say this one every time you add a independent variable to a model the r squared increases that's what we were discussing even if the independent variable is insignificant that r square will value will increase it never declines whereas adjusted r square increase only when the independent variable is significant and affects the dependent variable that's this is this is important this point is that's what i discussed in my previous slide isn't it in the table above what is the table let me show the table in the table above adjusted r square is maximum just we will check it out adjusted r square is maximum when we include two variables isn't it this is must first variable this is second variable my adjusted r square just see this is r square 67.5 85.9 and increased your adjusted r square is also increased it declines when third variable is added if i add third variable still r square is increasing 85.9 88 but whereas your adjusted r square is declining it declines when third variable is added whereas r square increases when we include third variable it means third variable is insignificant to the model isn't it that's what uh, we were saying with this uh, illustration you can understand Uh, the relation between r square and adjusted r square you must always adjusted r square can be negative when r square is close to zero yes adjusted r square can be negative when r square is, this is also an important point one must understand adjusted r square value always be less than or equal to r squared value isn't it 
just if you want you can check from that table also just see your adjusted r square value 0 0.876 is less than r square that's what it says your adjusted r square just see here also your adjusted r square this is 67.1 less than 67.5 84.2 it's less than 85.9 see 81.7 is means what it says your adjusted r square value is always be less than or equal to r square value this lecture certainly uh, uh, you can uh, this lecture will help you to understand relation between r square and and adjusted r square in multiple regression thank you very much